these years. What have I been telling you? Yeah, I know. Stay in school, get two educations. I know. That's right. This is my life, not yours. This is not for you. No guns. I first met Sonny in 1960. I was nine years old. He was the number one man in the neighborhood. And as I grew, he grew in power. He became a boss. And I was his friend. In a world called the Bronx. Look, I'm your father. I love you. You're breaking my heart. Sonny, trust me. That man can never trust anybody. The sooner you know that, the better. He was caught in a tug of war between his hardworking father. I tell you something to go to school, to go to You don't understand. It's not what you say. It's what he sees. It's the clothes, it's the cars, it's the money. I treat that kid like he's my son. He ain't your son. He's my son. And the man who owned the neighborhood. Don't you trust anybody? No. It's a horrible way to live. For me, it's the only way. Is it better to be loved or feared? I would rather be feared. Oh. Because fear lasts longer than love. <laughs> What was I gonna do? Run away? Make people think I got no heart? I mean, what makes you think you're so special? Mm. He'll hurt you like anybody. Mm. Sometimes hurting somebody ain't the answer. I know who you are, Sonny, and I know what you could do. This time you're wrong. You don't fool the man's family. So what are you gonna do? Fight this? Stay away from my son! Robert De Niro, Chaz Palminteri, you worry about yourself, your family, and the people that are close to you. That's what it comes down to. A Bronx Tale.